Good evening. On behalf of the Loma Linda Academy and the Loma Linda University Church, I'd like to welcome you to the LLA Choral Vespers. We are thrilled that you are here tonight. Uh, it's always exciting when the younger generations use their talents and their abilities to glorify God. Tonight's performance represents a year's worth, the culmination of a year's worth of hard work and dedication, not just by the students, but by many parents who brought their students to early morning rehearsals and sat through countless hours of performances. So thank you. Thank you not only for being here tonight, but thank you for your dedication and your support of this ministry. May we all be inspired by the music tonight and brought into the presence of God. Let's pray. Our good and gracious God, we want to thank you so much. Thank you so much for the gift of music. Thank you so much for students who are willing to use the talents and abilities that you've given to them to hone those skills and then utilize them to bring glory to you. We invite you here to receive our songs, to listen to our music, and to bless us with your presence is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. lovely time this is for us to be able to spend together. Um, I see so many uh, parents out there supportive of these folk here, and I see some of you who are just here for an hour of respite from the tumultuous world to hear beautiful music. And uh, that's very appropriate for the song that we're about to sing next, which is Sweet Hour of Prayer. Of course, that is referring to the best part of the day, right as you wake up in the morning before your day begins when you spend time in prayer and Bible study with your Creator, getting in tune with Him so that all of your day can be focused wherever it needs to be. And He has the best shot at leading you step by step where He needs your hands and feet to go. Sweet hour of prayer.
This song holds a special place in my heart. Magnificat reminds me of the beauty found in sacrificial love and unwavering faith. It reminds me that, like Mary, I too can find the strength to embrace the sacrifices that come with following God's call, even when the path seems daunting. In the grand scheme of things, Mary's humble stature and lack of status or worldly significance did not deter God from choosing her for his greatest plan of all. Um, Soon I Will to Be Done was one of the first songs in our repertoire this year. And when I was looking through all the new songs, I was 
trying to find a song that would challenge me um, in my sight reading. So I saw this song and I was like, this is it. And I really did struggle with it, but one of the ways that I overcame that was that I really listened to the lyrics and I really tried connecting the notes of the song to what I felt and the lyrics that it held. And that was what helped me sing this better than I ever did before. Soon I will be done. Trouble, no, 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 no
Hello. <laughs> so the first song of Chambers is called Word Was God. And this is written by Rosa Fanny Powell. And this song comes from a verse in the Bible. And that verse is John 1, 1 through 3. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things are made by him. And without God, nothing was made. Please enjoy the song. The next song we are going to be singing for you all tonight is called Ain't No Grave by David Ingerman. This is an amazing, um, this is an amazing illustration about the war in heaven between God and Satan. Um, when Lucifer fell, he came to deceive anybody who, who would listen, and earth fell into his descent, deceitfulness. And, um, with him brought shame, fear, and shame, fear, and anyways, um, <laughs> anyways, huh? Shame and fear is enough. Okay, yeah. Anyways, God came down with, through Jesus Christ to save us all from an eternal grave. I hope you all enjoy.
The next song that we have prepared for you all tonight is a voice of singing that was made by Martin Shaw. This song holds a very special place to my heart. And no, it's not because I love singing this, but it's because it reminds me that I should use my talent that the Lord gave me to sing it for him. And despite its age of being written a hundred years ago, it is still loved and enjoyed till this day. We hope you all enjoy it. This next song, Requiem, is pretty sad compared to the last one we sang because it's about a 2004 tsunami that affected many parts of Asia. And the tsunami killed over 27,000 people. But as you hear in the song, you hear that it's a mournful plea for the Holy Spirit to give them guidance, to give them love, and to give them mercy. And what's so special about this song is that even though families were lost and buildings were crushed and homes were crushed, the Holy Spirit did persevere and the Holy Spirit will always persevere. And I know that none of us were at that tsunami because we aren't alive yet, but we can relate to this song because sometimes we face trials that feel like a tsunami. But what's important to know is that we can ask the Holy Spirit for his guidance and his love and his mercy because if he did that for a tsunami, then he can do it for the trials of our lives. And so I hope that you are blessed by this song and that you think about all the trials that you're facing right now and know that God can help you.
Ah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, our last song that we're going to be singing up here today alone is called Battle of Jericho. And it tells the story of Joshua when he was at the city walls of Jericho, struggling to break them down. And I think that this song is sort of a metaphor for all of our lives, because we'll be struggling to break down walls in our lives. There will be problems, relationship problems maybe. Maybe you've been injured, out of the game for a while, like me. Maybe you just, maybe you just feel like you can't do anything. But this song shows that you can do something with the power of God, because God came down to Joshua and he said, yo, I need you to rally the people. Sing as loud as you can. Just let it out. And what happened? The walls came crashing down. Please enjoy the rest of this song. So proud of each of the students singing this evening, all of the hard work and effort that they have put in. Like Pastor Joey said, it's, it's a year in the making, a year of, of hard work and rehearsals for chamber singers, 
waking up uh, to be in class at 7.10 in the morning, which nobody likes to have class at 7.10 in the morning, no matter how early you like to wake up. So I'm so grateful for their dedication. Um, I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit. We are about to pass some plates around and take up a little offering. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about our tour that Pro Musica went on this year and the tour that will be going on next year. Um, and the offering that we take up this evening is going to go to a specially marked fund to help students who are struggling to make those tour payments. This is especially important this next year because we'll be going on an international tour to Thailand and the costs are quite a bit more than our normal tours that we go on. And um, there are some students who uh, uh, their families struggle just to pay the tuition. And uh, so to add in uh, several thousand dollars for uh, a trip in the summer is a great burden upon the family. So this will help some of those students to be able to go. So we appreciate your generosity. Um, uh, we had a wonderful tour um, uh, this spring as we went to Seattle. We were able to bless so, so, so many people. And uh, um, I know that next year in Thailand, it will be even more so. Um, the uh, religion in Thailand uh, that most people aspire to is Buddhism. And uh, um, so we are going to be singing for a lot of people that might not know Christ very much at all, if at all. Um, including some performances out for uh, small little communities um, uh, out in the woods in some of the northern Thailand places, um, as well as a university in Bangkok, um, a secular university in Bangkok, and others. So the ministry op uh, opportunities are going to be great, and uh, we are looking forward to that. Uh, we would ask that um, even if you're not able to give financially to support the trip, that you please start praying. Start praying for us as we prepare for the next year to go on this trip and to pray for all of those who will be receiving the word as it is presented through music, that their hearts will be prepared and softened by the Holy Spirit so that many people might have a glimpse of a God that they had never experienced before as we sing about Christ.
The next song prayer is based off of a text by Mother Teresa. The song means a lot to me, not only because of how beautiful it sounds, but because it talks about how we can shine, shine God's light into other people's lives. As we've gone through this year, I truly feel as if this song has encouraged me to show others, show others God's spirit and light, and I hope that it encourages you to do it as well. This is prayer. In Psalm 62, verse 1 to 2, it reads, For God alone, O my soul, 
Wait in silence, for my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. Through our lives, there are many trials and tribulations. There are times in life where every week gets harder and harder to live through it. There are times where we don't even want to live life. There are times, many times, where our troubles and tribulations, but there are very few times where we ask the question, have I talked to my God about this? Have I asked God for help on this matter? Have I asked the creator of the universe to get me out of this situation? We often forget that we have access to an anchor for our soul, one anchor that will not let us be shaken in the storms of life. God is that anchor. We let ourselves be swayed by storms of life because we do not realize we have an anchor. Let us not be swayed by storms of life and be reminded that no matter how difficult it gets, the creator of this universe, this whole entire universe, is there to anchor us. This next song is Ubi Caritas. Um, this song means a lot to me. This song was the first song that we sang uh, this year in Pro Musica. Um, it's, we set a, it set a precedent for what our year in Pro Musica was going to be. Um, for, this song talks about how we worship and fellowship God is present. When I sing this song with my peers, I, am, I always feel God's presence in the room and in each and every one of them. Uh, just in case you haven't brushed up on your Latin recently, 
Um, the lyrics to this song is, where charity and love are, God is there. The love of Christ has gathered us together. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us revere and love the living God, and from a sincere heart, let us love one another. Amen. Well, it's certainly been a delight to spend this hour with you and uh, kiss the Sabbath goodbye. Um, uh, so I hope that uh, it has been a special and blessed time for you. I know that uh, I was moved multiple times. I don't know if I'm just getting older or if my groups are getting better. I don't, I don't know, but I find myself more and more moved. Um, and tearing up as I'm directing them from time to time. So um, if you were half as blessed as I was, then it was worth the coming. So we would like to surround and impart a final blessing to you. <laughs> 